Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, we're going to shut the devil mouth up. Uh, amen. Glory be to God. You're going to rest. You're going to learn how to rest in the finished work of Christ Jesus. Uh, you're working too hard. Uh, I say you're working too hard. Uh, you're working too hard in your flesh. You're getting tired. Uh, you got to work. allow the grace of God to do it through you. Uh, God, yes, uh, this is what causing the church uh, to become weary and tired and confused and complaining. Uh, hey, uh, God Almighty, uh, unpatient because you're doing it by yourself. Uh, uh, what, what, what was five saying? Romans chapter one, verse five. Mm, Paul said, my apostleship, it came by through the grace of God. So the grace of God confirmed Paul apostleship. You already ever said? The grace of God confirmed Paul as an apostle. Uh, so that means that every office that you have, uh, amen, would confirm that office is the grace is was upon that office. Hallelujah. That's what confirmed the office. The grace was upon that office. My God. Hallelujah. Oh God, y'all tell you all running from grace, but y'all need to run to grace. Uh, y'all talking about work. Uh, work can't help you. Uh, I said work can't help you because it is not by works. Uh, let any man shall boast. Uh, come on, it's about the grace of God. God has put it in a way uh, that you can't give yourself no glory. Uh, God has put it in a way that you can't give man no glory. Uh, to who they want you can give glory is the Lord Jesus uh, because it was by his grace uh, that you made it out. Uh, oh God Almighty, I feel like preaching tonight but I gotta teach this. Uh, glory be to God. I says by his grace you have made it out tonight. Uh, come on somebody give him praise. I uh, shut the devil mouth. I said shut the devil mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes go to Hebrews 4 and voice 6 Hebrews chapter 4 and voice 6 Hebrews 4 and voice 6 my God Jesus Hebrews 4 and voice 6 if you have it say Amen Amen go ahead read you see you see that you see that? He's talking about God rest now. Grace, grace is God rest for his people. He says now, some who hear the gospel, but they didn't believe the gospel, and, and because they didn't believe it, they didn't enter in. Go ahead. Again, limited a certain day. Mm -hmm. saying David, today after so long a time my God as it is said today if ye will hear his voice somebody hearing his voice tonight harden not your heart oh don't harden your heart just receive what he's saying go ahead don't fight against it just receive it amen you've been fighting against you've been fighting against this is why you're not resting this is why you're not resting. It is grace that literally brings you in the rest of God. The rest of God have to do with the finished work of Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's finish it. For if Jesus had given them rest, mm -hmm. then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? You see? There will mean it therefore a rest for the people of the world. Somebody say he's talking to me. Talking to me. There remained it therefore a rest unto the people of God, but you gotta enter into the rest. And the only way you enter into this rest is to cease from your own works. Stop trying to work it up yourself. <laughs> you gotta cease from your own works. Everything in God, everything in God requires grace. 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 Hallelujah. Grace. To live holy is to take grace. To separate yourself from the unclean things and takes grace. It will require grace. It's going to take the grace of God 
Amen. To give me the the power to resist loss and every other sin that comes with it. Amen. Roman five fifteen. Roman chapter five verse fifteen. Romans five and verse fifteen. You have it, say amen. Let the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Romans 5 verse 15. Verse 15. Read. But not as your offense. Uh -huh. So also is the free gift. Mm -hmm. For if through the offense of one man be dead. Uh -huh. Adam. Much more the grace of God. Jesus Christ. Amen. And the gift by grace. And the gift. By grace, which is by one man, which is by one man, that's Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yes. But abound unto men. My God, but abound unto many. You know, God want to give you the grace, you know, because He knows that the only way you gonna overcome anything is gonna take the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, only you, you see, when it is by grace, it is no more you, but it's God. You all know what I said? When it is by grace, it's no more you, but it's God. When it is by works, then it's you, and it's not God. Let us sink, let us sink in thee. Let us sink in thee. Let it sink in. You got to sink in, you know. Sometimes the word of the that sink in you. Yeah, for you really get it. Ephesians 1 and verse 6. Ephesians 1, 6. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 6. If you have it, say amen. Go ahead, read. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Mm, to the praise of the glory of his grace. It's by his grace he made you accepted by the, the love. It's by his grace. Not by you working, you know. It's by God's grace. Go ahead. In whom we have redemption through his blood. In whom we have redemption by his blood. The forgiveness of sins. Forgiveness of sins. According to his riches. His grace. According to his riches of his grace, I get forgiveness of sin. According to his riches of his grace. Hallelujah. You getting it? You getting it? Do you understand it? God grace. Are this grace freeing you? Are this grace is freeing you or bringing bringing liberty liberating you huh are this grace liberating you because this grace ought to liberate you liberate you from what works so you can rest in the finished work of christ jesus it sound easy because we don't use program the work and you say wait you mean i don't have to do nothing you mean I just have to believe and receive? Yes! Yes! Christ already did it all for you. <laughs> we receive. We receive. We receive it. To work my faith means to apply my faith. It is not the physical work. It's not my strength, no. Because my faith is the word. It's where I start a work that word, apply what the word of God say. That ain't me working. That's you applying God's will. God, God put in a way that man can't give themselves no glory because God knows man love glory. 
my love glory I've been fasting for 40 days and 40 nights I uh -huh. ain't got nothing to do with the grace of God I did it uh -huh. I you better take I out of that way take it out of the way and put Jesus it's by Jesus grace I was able to fast and pray for those many of days it's by his grace he ain't by you <laughs> hallelujah amen Romans 12 verse 6 Romans chapter 12 verse 6 you have it say amen Romans chapter 12 verse 6 read I gotta work that a little bit, boy. I gotta work this. I gotta work this, Lord. I gotta work this, Jesus. Lord, I gotta work this. <laughs> Amen. Let me take my Bible. Lord. I gotta work this now, boy. Look here. This is this is see. This is how you all know that a prophecy or a prophet operate by the measure of grace that is upon that office. And according to the measure of grace, he can prophesy only according to the measure of the grace that he has. So all he needs prophet that prophesies in every second. <laughs> you got to question them whether they, they are prophesying out of the unction of the Holy Ghost or they are prophesying out of the desire of their own spirit. But really, just shine some light on this. But oh, it's just that. That's from the beginning. I mean, from verse 6. Yeah. Yes. Other than just the foreign according to the grace that is given to us. Uh-huh. Where the 